Okay, let's meditate for a few minutes. Hanam Pawana Sakpaknang. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. And if deep breathing feels good, stick with it. If not, you can change the rhythm of your breath, but focus on your breathing. As for any thoughts that would wander away from the breath, you don't have to follow them. They'll go just a little way and then they'll stop. You give all your attention to the breath right now. Try to unburden the mind. The things you're carrying around, your plans for later today, your plans for next week, whatever, just let them go. You're right here, right now. And try to fully occupy right here, right now. Be aware of the whole body as you breathe in, the whole body as you breathe out. This way the mind gets a grounding. So it's knocked off. It's not knocked off by things. I was talking with someone who was concerned that if you pay attention to your breath as you go through the day, you have to trust that everything else is going to go well because you're not out there arranging things. Well, a lot of times the way we arrange things is a big part of the problem. And it's not you're trusting things to go well. In fact, the fact that you're staying here centered with the breath is your best defense against things going bad. Because when unfortunate things come up or unpleasant things come up. If you're just occupied in your plans for this and your arrangements for that, you can't see these things coming. And when they do come, you may not be able to see the right thing to do. Or because you've been spending so much time planning about things, your nerves may be worn out, so you don't have the strength to do the right thing, even if you can figure it out. But if you're centered here with the breath, there's a sense of energy that comes with that. There's a momentum that comes with that, that helps feed your concentration, feed your mindfulness. And that puts you in a much better position to deal with good and bad things as they arise. Because you have to protect yourself sometimes from the good things, too, because it's very easy to fall for them and start doing stupid things around them. So your safest place is right here, centered here in the present moment. And you want to maintain that sense of center as you go through the day, because that's your safest place to stay, the wisest place to stay. Make that your foundation. And you'll be in a much better situation not to get knocked off by things outside, because after all, it is the things inside that are causing the problem. If you can create a good sense of breath energy filling the body, the fact that you're maintaining that energy. doesn't leave the mind with empty, empty hands to do nothing with which you to just pull outside things in. The hands of the mind are here engaged in keeping you self-centered and asking that question, what's a skillful thing to do now in response to this? Otherwise, if someone says something negative, you pull it in and you use it to oppress your own mind. It's not so much their words that oppress the mind, it's you're pulling it in that oppresses the mind. So as you're engaged in keeping the mind centered in this way, you're in a good place. You, there's energy that comes with that. And it keeps you from allowing things to come in and make inroads on the mind. So do your best to maintain this in all situations. The skills we practice as we meditate are not just for sitting with your eyes closed. They're for dealing with whatever comes up wherever during the day. <laughs> 